This post has only been up on a Sheridan Community Facebook page for about two hours, but already has dozens of comments with residents offering their support, coming together to build back better. What you're seeing is the home of Carol Hamilton being torn apart. It will have to be bulldozed and rebuilt from the ground up. The decision wasn't made lightly. It came Wednesday after a 30 hour standoff with a suspect accused of shooting and killing Sheridan police officer Nevada Crinky on Tuesday. I downloaded the scanner app just so I could kind of hear what was going on. And I got to be honest, I didn't stop listening. I don't think at any one point at any time during this entire thing. Hamilton was an innocent party in the chaos and fell victim. Her house is a complete loss. Her niece, Rachel Trueblood, says her grandmother also lives in the home and was there when the suspect broke in. William buried himself in the basement. My grandma was upstairs. Luckily, her grandmother escaped, and now the community is rallying together, offering to rebuild the home at no cost. I cannot even begin to describe the amount of gratitude for everyone just stepping up and helping out. It's pretty amazing to see the effect it's had on everybody, citizens, businesses, and just the outpouring of support has been incredible. Steve Leonard is the founder and co-owner of A-Line Roofing and Exteriors, which is offered to cover some of the materials and labor for the rebuild. It's the absolute least we could do. It's supposed to reach out and, and try to help as much as possible. So, and, and it's not just us. I mean, there's so, there's so many people looking for a way to, to help. Leonard found out about the efforts through Tim Bork, the general manager of Connect Home Center, which is also donating materials. All the labor to rebuild her home. Um, I've got two contractors already. One's going to build the house and the other ones are going to side and, and roof it and stuff like that. Some of our vendors are willing to donate lumber already and donate siding and just all kinds of things. Bork says many making donations don't even know the victim. I don't know her personally yet. We're just helping out. It's amazing how everybody comes together. The community just wants to help. I mean, we're like a big happy family for the most part. It's not even 24 hours after the end of all of this. And like literally this house is going to be rebuilt at no cost to my aunt. I just, just thank you so much, Sheridan and, and surrounding communities and all the cops that showed up and showed out for our community. It's just really overwhelming. So thank you. In Sheridan, Kelsey Boggs, MTN News.